like we are going to be yeah. seeing them in a night. Coming in at all good. Yep. It looks like FD is our starter of choice. Oh, y'all starting on FD, my beloved? Oh, and this serious music the going on. Oh, getting a really nice clean 20% on Devin already and counting. Like I said, that Squirtle and Dirt Bird meant to be way easier for Meta Knight to hit because they're, not, they're, they're the same size. They're the same size. <laughs> oh, Meta Knight's no. taller. A little bit, a little bit. But definitely way more feasible to hit Squirtle with Meta Knight than, uh, than Cloud of, at, at, at all. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yep, you gotta be careful of that. Uh, Meta Knight F Smash, no end lag to speak of. But the neutral air taking Devin's first stock super early. Yeah, really, really good thing to the game. We have Devin at one stock deficit, and now he, he switched to Ivysaur to try and true great. Uh, ooh, not getting the force of like he really was wanting to. So, an interaction that I just want to point out is that. Uh, oh no, ooh, he's fine. No, way, no, no way. he's not fine. Uh, just kidding, I didn't have anything to talk about. I. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we have here speechless because now we're going to the Pokemon like the like Pokedex over at Charizard. It really is like a Pokemon battle right now. Ivysaur and Squirtle are dead, and we have Charizard like this is like the equivalent of a Pokemon battle at the gym, like the gym leader, where you have like your level 10 EV and everything, and you have like your level like 50 yeah. starter Pokemon. All right, well, Devin had a revive, so yeah, he had a revive and then that, a revive and like a, a super potion. <laughs> But I don't know if a potion's gonna be no, doing much right uh, now. Booty's still on his first stock right now. Oh, okay, but the yeah. reverse hit of the neutral air. Uh, finally putting Devin on the board right now, but okay, oh. just barely outside of the range of that uppy. And now Devin starts to get to play, but not for very long. Yeah, absolutely not for very long. Devin's at really, really dangerous levels right now. I think he's just used to Charizard as fast as he can. Just so he has that Charizard just heaviness, and so that doesn't really happen to him as Charizard. Yeah, and I feel like that's, that's, a, that's, that's a really a tough spot fight. for Devin right there because... Uh, you know, one of the things that makes Meta Knight so good off stage is he has those really long-lasting hitboxes and things like uh, Tornado, Neutral Air we saw several times. Uh, it really makes it difficult for, especially Tether characters. Uh, you know, Ivysaur isn't going to be able to have that hitbox. And when he's you know, just vacuumed to the ledge with the Tether, there's going to be a Meta Knight Neutral Air waiting for you there. Yeah, I agree. It was just a that was a very such a quick game. And we're going right back to FD with you know Kazi and Mishima as he should be playing uh, the music button in the background. Now let's see if we can have some kind of different. Oh no, no, not like this. Okay. Okay. It's a quick 50. 50, 50 clean, 50.0, and now it is Devin's turn. You know, we talked before about Meta Knight being a combo machine, but Squirtle no Sludge himself. He can get those down air loops. Yeah, great. If, 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 if Devin was able to utilize Squirtle's investment ability against Meta Knight and get that percentage to believe that he needs with Squirtle's combos, he'd be amazing. But right now, we're, we're going over, right, right over to Ivysaur, getting these nares that are so good with Ivysaur anyway, so... Definitely agree to you know change right now. Fine with coming back on the stage and getting caught with the Alpha of Meta Knight. Meta Knight is just eating these tether recoveries. So something I think I want to point out because we've seen we can throw it out before. Devin hasn't shown fear for the dimensional kit attack once, and I am very curious if Booty is paying attention to that and will be throwing that out when the time comes. I just want to like, recognize the amazing spacing that Devin had on moment to avoid the multi-hit of Psyche and straight up just went and did for his match when he was recovering. That was super smart of his behalf because had he been hit by that, that probably would have been Seven's first stock right there. Oh! I'm a, I'm a, that's, so ra I have, that's so Raven moment. I saw the future. I think it's time to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you just told the future. <laughs> no, not, not like this. Not like this. Oh, no. He okay. saved him. He did save him, he but him. I, he has no jump left. He is going to be tethering. Okay. And no. it's been these long-lasting multi-hitboxes. No tethers allowed. How's Devin getting off this ledge? He's not. He's getting put right back off stage, trying to fight his way through with the forward air. I'm um, loving this edge guard by, uh, by Booty right now. Not letting Devin. All right, my fault. 
I'll take, I'll eat those words, my fault. Great spacing with the forward tilt. But Devin on the board, still, Devin still has his uh, second stock right now, but sitting at 9%, getting into those red percentages, not gonna be finding it the uh, up be there. Is it, is it a, a way more close game than we saw in game one? You know, Devin doing a, a better job at keeping himself not dying so quickly. But, ooh, you got Flareberry's back, and you're not gonna make back. Nope, that's it. Ooh, no! I think, uh... Flare Blitz just had a little too much lag, and now Devin almost a full stock behind, only 18% on Booty's second stock right now. You know, Flare Blitz just was not letting him get that, that horizontal distance he really wanted to get to recover with Charizard up B, so very unfortunate of that stock, that stock uh, loss. But hopefully he can bring it back as fast as he can, maybe with Ivysaur, any kind of Ivysaur, uh, Vine Whip or anything like that. I don't know about Vine Whip right there, because Booty was no, trying to land. Not. Okay. Oh, oh, great anti, great conversion right there for, for uh, he's not up there for uh, Charizard in order to try to get, get Booty off, off of him. Right. There's no. no way, there's no way. The miss input with the Razor Leaf off stage. Devin clearly wanted either yeah. up B or a switch maybe, but Razor Leaf was, was not the play that he wanted. Really, really unfortunate end for Devin 3000. Uh, yeah, th there's just a few just off play, off ledge plays that were just not it, you know. Right here, here we have and a miss input with the razor, uh, razor blade. And oh, are we gonna see Boo's reaction? Oh, I, th I, th I thought I was zoomed in for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, Nair dropping. Yeah, Nair. It was like trying was a to get that up. Nair too is the thing. Because it, it bought Devin the space that he needed to get back to ledge. Mm -hmm. But couldn't just vine up to stage in time, tether Unf recovery. Unfortunate. So, Booty's moving on. <laughs> he is going to be moving and on. And we are going to be having uh, C and Zane. We've seen Zane multiple right. times. Uh, they placed pretty well at Bay 100 this past weekend. Ooh, very nice. And C, I have not seen a little bit. And again, yeah. just it's just it's just off play recovery, off lad recovery options that were just not working uh, for Devin three thousand on the. I keep saying De Devin uh, on this stage. <laughs> yeah, you have to clarify which Devin it is. Of course, you have like seven Devins. Of course, you have <laughs> Devin three thousand, three thousand one, three thousand two, three thousand three. Yeah, no, I think at the end of the day, I think it just came down to you know Booty was really able to make those openings work a lot more for him yeah. than Devin was able to. Devin was able to get some good hits. He got some good wins in neutral, but it's just he wasn't able to take them far as far as Booty was.